Hello, my name is Mark Patterson. I'm the author of the Missouri Cannabis Restoration and Protection Act. If all goes well, I will be present for the filing of my 2018 offering. That will be at 10 a.m. on January 25th at the Secretary of State's office in Jefferson City. Now I know there are currently a number of initiatives that have been filed there in Missouri. A few have actually been drafted largely with my original writing. I'm not here to compete with my own words. I'm certainly not trying to do that with filing this initiative. I just want Missourians and the rest of the country, for that matter, to know what I really wanted to achieve, what is really possible for us all. We have before us a remarkable opportunity to profoundly change state law, and in so doing, bring about real change that will positively impact the nation. Real legalization, cannabis truly seen as an agricultural crop, as a food, such as it has been for the human race for the last 25,000 years, and should be again. I have been criticized by some. High Times Magazine called me an anarchist, and my bill, the tomato bill, because I dared to imagine cannabis as legal as any food found in a grocery store. It should be. The fact is, is cannabis is non-toxic. It's actually one of the most nutritious foods you'll find. And without a doubt, the most important medicine of the 21st century. Healing with food, our people, and our land. Cannabis has the remarkable ability to clean even our soil. Cannabis has been wrongfully vilified. It's not what it has been made to seem. Science has overwhelmingly demonstrated its medical efficacy. So have the many testimonies coming in from all over the world. These days I have been counseling and making oil for the terminally ill. They have come from virtually every state in the Union many from the Midwest, including Missouri. I have worked with children as young as eight months. I know how safe cannabis is. So do many of the parents that I have seen across this country. It's time we put away the lies, the hypocrisy, the bureaucratic clutter that has imprisoned our people and held back the healing that so many so desperately need. Incremental change has not worked. It is only further entrenched prohibition. Demand change, real change. Better yet, be the change. Be involved, but do it right. Make it your own. If you're going to petition, make sure that you're doing it correctly. Learn how to do it correctly. Remember, this is for us and for our children. There are 15 other states that can do a direct initiative. If you're in, from one of them, you should be reading this initiative too. I already have drafts for Oklahoma and for Colorado. I've been asked to do similar drafts for Illinois and for Arkansas. Consider a nation without prohibition. It's time we hit the reset button.